Symbols allow you to make simultaneous edits to repeating elements in your design. So for instance, if you have a logo on the same page or across different artboards that's repeated, um, if you make one particular change to that logo's design, then all other copies of that logo will update automatically. So what's important to me is that I want to create a symbol from this selected logo. And this means copying this symbol to these deliverables, so the can and the three bottles. Now the reason I want to do this is so that if I, a change is made to this original symbol, it will be reflected across all of the symbol instances and the change will automatically update across those. So to create a symbol from this initial uh, live source logo, I can go up to the view menu, choose studio, symbols, and then ensuring that the logo is selected, I can go and click create. And that makes the logo now a symbol. I can simply um, copy and paste, so can, I can drag this duplicate. I'll just use a, a command key just to size it from the center, just to create different instances of that symbol. Just place it about there. I can copy paste again and place a third symbol instance just about here. Now because I want to add this uh, uh, particular logo to here and here, I can do something different which is a, a, a duplicate command and then I can just move it slightly to the right with a shift key to constrain to horizontal and then repeat to place it in the third position. So if this design was offered to a client and the client gave some feedback and suggested that some elements of the design needs to change, we can take advantage of symbol functionality to make bulk changes across the design. So in this instance, uh, this, uh, this logo, this master logo, if I just move that over to the right a little bit and then open up the layer and select the text and we can change that to say the client suggested a different text so we could change this to say axis. So if we selected axis you find that the font has been updated across all instances there. Similarly if we drop the font size down to say 72 we have the font size is changing too. So you see bulk changes are easy with symbols. However, if we have a situation where uh, a client suggests that uh, some particular symbols need to be independently changed so that the other symbols remain unaffected, this is possible by switching off the default synchronization that allows symbols to update globally. And we'll do that in this particular instance to recolor this source text for each bottle because we want this one to be the stronger green, this one to be yellow and this one red. So first of all, I'll switch off synchronization and just click that once to disable it. I'll select this particular logo instance, just expand it, pick the colour there, just select the text within and I'll choose this stronger green just up here which I've saved in the palette. And similarly I'll just do the same for the other options there, the text. We'll make this a yellow. We'll 
make this one the red. So I'll switch synchronization back on because although we've made those independent edits, I'll still be able to take advantage of the symbolized functionality to say, for instance, change the size of the text so I could make this smaller. And it should reflect across all of the instances. 